the Jacquees ting. Yo, Jacquees. Boy, this guy's getting a bit bright, and to tell you the truth, I did, I just realised <laughs> I heard that 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 tune there. That's his. That his. If that's his, I like that song, and I like the tune that he covered. The one that he covered of that other that girl Ella. Is it tripping? Yeah, man. His version is better. But one song and a cover. Don't. Don't cut it really, does it? It's not really cutting it. So I don't know where he's getting that King stuff from. Although I couldn't tell you. I ain't even listen to music like that, as in new stuff. It comes and if it gets me, get to me, boy. Get me if I flick on the right, on the right little channel or the right um little clip on my feed. I wanna see that shit. I don't watch that. Listen to my old stuff, boy. Tupac is still really in my house. Bob Marley is still really in my house. You hear me? Listen to them old man there. You see the songs I listen to. You hear me? We playing Beres and all them tunes there. Tupac Shakur, Biggie. You know what I mean? Not everyone that I play is dead. <laughs> I like T Pain in there, man. But again, they're not one of you. They're not one of them. I don't know. They're not Jacquees' level, so. I guess what can we do not his levels but if I'm gonna rate my five kings of R&B it's gonna be like this son I tell you like this right do that work all right top five top five R&B kings in no particular order but I'm gonna give you the king of all kings right now R&B is an R&B, yeah, not too, we're not going too old school, we're not going to be involving Motown, you get me, we're not going to be bringing Marvin, Marvin Gaye, not bringing the, the, the gods of this, we're not bringing the gods into this, we're talking about kings, so, number one, R. Kelly, I'm going to pause there because I know you lot get excited with R. Kelly, R. Kelly, we're talking about music, Music only, scratch. I don't care what they do in their personal life. In the booth, <laughs> in the booth, music. You know what I mean? Instruments. That's what we're talking about here. R. Kelly is number one. Too many hits. That man, that man can have a concert for a week and probably not not repeat a tune unless the crowd wanted it to. So R. Kelly is one. Number two. I don't even know why these brothers are even getting mentioned. Number two, Joe. Are you mad, Joe? Number three, Donnell Jones. Are you insane? Donnell Jones, yo. Right, that's three out of the way. I've got two spots left. Who can we give? Because you've got Chris Brown. You've got Usher. You've got um, the cat in Omarion in there. Who else we got? Are we doing groups? Oh, we're not doing groups. Man like, <laughs> I've seen the thing. Man like Jay Holiday and them, man, you can't get in. You can't get into this. You ain't got enough body or work. Not that I've heard. You get me? See, we can go back. Well, how far do you go back? Like, Johnny Hill. Johnny Gill. Sorry, Johnny Hill, you know. Johnny Gill. Johnny Gill. Um, oh, what's my brother's name? Genuine. You get me? Come on. Genuine has to get a spot. I'm, I'm putting Genuine in there. And we're flinging Chris Brown because he's he's one of the new ones, the new ones, you know. To me, he's one of the babies. You get me? He's one of the new ones. So that's the top five. That's that's the my top five R and B. If you have to put crowns on these motherfuckers, R and B kings: Kelly, Joe, Donnell Jones, Genuine, Chris Brown. See, and it's not even dissing man like Babyface and all that kind of stuff. It's weird. There's too many, there's too many. Babyface has to go in. Babyface has to go in. It's ridiculous. What about Casey and Jojo? Separately, even. Nah, man. You can't. You can't. You can't. All I know is R. Kelly is ahead of all of them brothers because he's it's his body of work. Albums. I can play R. Kelly albums as in 
press play and go about my day. Day. Night time, lad. I'll tell you some night time. But, um, yeah. That's my Vikings R&B. Contemplate, I didn't contemplate, but now it's hyping. Call of Duty. 